Hi, I'm Alicia Souza. I'm an illustrative designer. You may know me from my Instagram page where I share my illustrations a bit about my day and life as an illustrator. In this video, I'm going to be giving you all the tips and tricks that I've picked up on my long journey as an illustrator, using social media to level up my business and pretty much hone my career into what it is today. First, there are a few things you need to remember when you're making content. Quality over quantity. You want to be posting content that people actually want to see. Your beautiful drawing is what people want to see. That's your value. That's your authenticity. Now, as for Instagram, algorithms change all the time and it's painful as heck, but that's just part of the game. How does your work or how do you make your work appeal to that seemingly evil algorithm? Few things can help. Consistency. Okay, I may repeat myself with this one, but I feel like this is the most important bit. You'll have to be consistent with posting and there's a sweet spot of one to four times for Instagram posts and a few stories. Engaging. Engaging with your audience is wonderful and also keeps your numbers rolling. Responding to people who comment on your posts but also commenting on other people's posts help. Tagging. Okay, please do not be tagging random accounts just because they have a high follow account and you want them to see your work. Tagging doesn't work like that and you couldn't be marked as spam. Tag relevant brands or people, like the photographer of your shoot or even useful things like the brand of your pen that you used in your drawing. Hashtags. So hashtags are a bit of a hit and miss. I've heard about people who swear by them, but it also doesn't hurt to use them, so you can totally give it a try. There are of course broad hashtags you can use like hashtag art, hashtag illustration, but I definitely recommend something a little more specific like hashtag cozy cat drawing. Also try to keep the hashtags a few spaces below your caption with a vertical line of full stops. Videos. So this is something that I've had to get myself along with. Videos definitely get more traction now and more attention. Reels in particular seem to be the order of the day. Try to get your process recorded. I have a rather heavy tripod, but you can get an inexpensive one on Amazon, where I sometimes record myself drawing in a time lapse. Stories. Stories change the game. I took them way quicker than I would have thought, and they worked out so well. The best thing about stories is that you really don't need to polish up photos, and it gives your audience a sort of behind the scenes feeling. A little tip to push your post is to share them as a story. Don't show the whole post image, you can blur it out or even have that new post gif atop the image. This works because sometimes your post doesn't reach your audience's feed, but they can catch it on a story and it helps give them that extra push. Highlights. Highlights are great to firstly address things that are asked frequently or to pin stories that are popular. Intro highlights are nice. Product highlights are useful and behind the scenes highlights are really interesting. Scheduling. As I mentioned earlier, you don't have to post hourly or even daily, but posting say once a month is probably not the best idea to keep you in memory, especially if that's why you're using social media. So when it comes to scheduling, you can use a social media calendar to help you out. There are third-party apps, websites that are great for planning your grid if you like it looking a certain way. I don't recommend getting other apps to post for you, but just using them as a calendar to know in advance what your next few weeks or days looks like is super useful. 